Welcome back, friends. I'm going to start off by placing a photo on my workspace of a couple. I'm going to start off by removing the background. I'm going to take a copy of this um, so that I can work with this photo. And what I want to do is I want to make the man, um, I guess, ghost-like, hugging the woman and then with some writing uh, in the background. But what I need to do is I need to separate the man and the woman. And the best technique I found for doing this is to go into edit and to use magic grab. That is part of Magic Studio and it is an amazing feature if you have Canva Pro. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the man from the woman. And as you can see, as I'm hovering over the man, I'm very easily able to click him. But as we move down along here, we can see his hands are not selected. Um, and when I select the hands, um, it selects more than I need. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to go into the brush option. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully just brush um, over the man. And I don't want to get too much of the woman because I want the woman uh, to remain whole. But I'll just carefully select the man. And I'll come down as far as I can. I'll come back and I'm going to decrease my brush so that I can get into those fine lines. And I'm pretty satisfied with that. And I'm going to say grab. And that'll take um, about a minute to separate from the original image. So here it is. I'm going to take it. I'm going to separate it. That's um, pretty good. So now we have two images here that are separate. So we're now going to go ahead. I'm going to add a page. And I'm going to go back into Elements. And I'm going to add a... a an old paper image here with some uh, script text writing on it. So here it is. I'm just going to place it on my workspace, making it a little bit larger like this. And I'll just keep that there for now. I'm going to add another page. I'm going to go back up to my man. I'm going to grab him <laughs> and I'm going to bring him on my fourth page. I'm going to paste him here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab a shape and I'm going to place a black shape in behind him because what I want to do is create an overlay. So I'm going to change the color of my shape to black. I'm going to go to position and layers and I'm going to move that black shape in behind. And I'm going to grab my man here. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to duotone and I'm going to use the custom feature to turn him white. Now, I'm going to admit to you, this took a while for me to actually do, but then I realized that um, I wasn't actually turning the man totally white. So it does have to be totally white. I know that because it has F, 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 F in here. And no, I'm not swearing at you. Um, and I need to turn both the shadows and the highlights to white. So I'm going to click on the highlights and in here, I'm going to move that right up to the corner until I get that F, 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 F again. All right, we're now ready to download this to create that overlay. So I'm going to come over to share, download. I only want page four and I'm going to select done and download. I'll now create another page. I'm going to grab that uh, design that I downloaded. I'm going to wait for it to finish uploading. And then I'm going to go over to BG Remover to remove the background of that white area. Let's just check, make sure that it did it. And here it is. It's done. OK. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to do the reverse. So I, I'm going to take this image. Let me just crop it. I mean, if you know me, you know that I am a neat freak. I can't help it. I'm sorry. We're going to take this. We're going to go into edit. We're going to use dual tone again to change that uh, custom color to white. 
So I'm going to change both the highlights and shadows to white. Now you'll recall that I had some old paper with some script writing. Here it is. And before we move on, I'm going to go into edit. I'm going to go into filters and I'm going to make that paper a little bit more yellow by using this Bally filter. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to copy that paper and bring it down to the page where I have my overlay. Uh, here it is. And I'm going to position it in behind my overlay like that. I'm now going to take that paper and I'm going to crop it so it is behind the white overlay like this. I'm going to grab both of them and I'm going to make them a little bit larger like that. And I'm going to come to share again. I'm going to download this. I only want page five. I'll say done and download. I'm going to add another page, bring this back in. Here it is. And I'm now going to remove the background as soon as it's finished uploading. So I'll come to BG remover and I'll remove that white box that's around this image. I'm going to crop them a little bit like that make them a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. And I'm going to go into edit and I'm going to apply a shadow. So I'll come to shadows. I'm going to select the glow and I'm going to uh, increase the intensity a little bit. For the blurring amount, we have the option to make more of a blur or less of a blur. I'm just going to keep it right there. And for the size, I'm just going to decrease the size of that glow a little bit like that. I'm now going to grab this image. I'm going to copy it and I'm come, going to come back up to our third page where I have that um, image of script writing. I'm going to paste my man here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and line up the writing on the man with the writing on the script paper. So uh, this might take a little bit of trial and error for you, but I think I've got it um, right there. And I'm now going to grab my woman. Here she is. Now we, we can see that when we separated the two, it really didn't do a great job because half her face is kind of covered with her hair. So let's go back up to the original image. Let's go to edit. And let's go to magic grab again. And this time let's grab only the woman. And I'll say grab. Now we'll notice it didn't grab her hood here. So I'm going to have to click it to see if I can select it. And there we go. It did select everything, including her hood. So I'll just say grab and I'm going to copy that and bring it down to the uh, image with the script and I'll paste her right in there and just try and nudge her right into the arms like that. All right, let's make this a little bit larger just so that we can see. Just going to crop this a little bit and let's grab all of it and let's make it a little bit larger just so that we can see the image a little bit better like that. And we can also apply a shadow to the woman. So I'm going to grab the woman only and I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to shadows and I'm also going to apply a glow to her as well. So here it is. Now, every time you apply a shadow or a technique, you might have to readjust um, your photo, but that's okay. It doesn't take much to do it. Now we're going to do one last thing. I'm going to come over to the photo of the man again. I'm going to copy him. And I'm actually going to bring him right back in 
to the photo like this. I'm going to resize him to kind of make it match up where he used to be, like this. And I'm going to go into Edit. I'm going to go back into Filters. I'm going to come all the way down to where the mono is, and I'm going to choose Classic. I'm also going to grab him now, and I'm going to go to Transparency, and I'm going to make him transparent. I'll bring that all the way down. And you can decide how far down transparency you want to take that, but I'm going to leave it like that. And that is pretty much it. So tell me, guys, what do you think of this effect? This is in response to a question in our group. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Um, do I talk too much? I don't know. If there's, <laughs> let me know in the comments. And if there's anything else that you want to learn, drop that in the comments as well. I'm always looking for tutorials to do. And, um, you know, I'll add it to my list of tutorials that I'm working on. Anyhow, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And for now, I'm going to say bye-bye. Until next time.